Hey Claiborne, it's Friday and I'm going to put together this Outback Cabin set that Steph got me for Valentine's Day this year. When I opened it up, I had hoped that the bags would be numbered. The fact that they aren't numbered makes me wonder what LEGO's cutoff is for numbered bags. This set, at 300 pieces, really could have benefited from them. Hopefully, 500 piece sets and above will have them. That'll make it easier to record and assemble. And maybe I'll even be able to do it in batches like you've done your Yoda. I've been putting together a lot of LEGO sets lately. I promise I'll be back to talking to the camera soon, but ending the week with a LEGO set has been a good way to find some time to relax. Some of these sets are getting displayed in the living room. It's a much more fixed real estate than what used to be available for displaying sets, but we currently have like five brick heads that Sam and I put together way back in November and Detective Pikachu on the TV stand. I did take the exosuit to work, and I'll probably take this set to work too. This set reminds me of the other cabin that both you and I like, the Lakeside Lodge. I love the featured wildlife on this one, just like the other one. This one has a wolf and an eagle, and it seems fitting now that there's a dad and a son. It's got great detailing for a compact space, and really just makes me want to take some time off and unplug. Like, really unplug. There's not much good in the news anymore, and everything that is there just begs you to spend more time doing independent research. It's becoming harder to feel more informed after having reviewed the news than before. And with the election season starting, it's all I can do to stay off Facebook and other social media except when Steph has posted a picture of Steven that I want to go read comments on. I recently learned that humans get two really awesome benefits from being out in green spaces for a few days. First, our immune system doubles its production of killer T cells, an increase that has residual benefits even a month later. Second, we de-stress. The second benefit is obvious and can be gained even from just smelling or viewing a green space for a short period of time. All the more reason to go to the park more often. And parks are great, but I've always dreamed of having a little cabin of my own, where I can go and just read and write and be away from everything. I keep hoping that I'll be able to buy some land in the hill country here in Texas and build a small cabin. Until then, though, I'll continue to build these little Lego cabins. Claiborne, I'll see you on Tuesday.